In this tutorial, we will review the algorithm for mask self-attention and we'll code it in NumPy. The algorithm is very commonly used in pre-training large language model and being familiar with it allows you to better understand pre-training in LM. For those that don't know me, I'm Yassine, a published researcher and machine learning practitioner who loves to teach. Do consider subscribing to the channel to learn technical topics related to machine learning. Before coding, let's review what is mass self-attention and where it is useful. By the way, disclaimers, I'm going to say words here a lot instead of tokens to make this small intro a bit more intuitive. Attention mechanisms are central to transformers. Attention allows the model to weight the importance of different parts of an input sequence, which allow it to capture what we call long-range dependencies. Something that the RNN architecture struggle with since the input is fed one after the other and gets stacked. Long-range dependency kind of get diluted in that specific architecture. There are multiple kind of attention mechanism. The simplest one is self-attention. Self-attention is powerful because it allows the model to simultaneously evaluate all position in the input sequence to generate an output. This type of information is crucial for tasks such as text generation. However, there is an obvious issue with self-attention when used to pre-train a model. Usually, during the pre-training phase, the model will use part of the input to predict another part of the input. To achieve that with the input sequence, you could mask the word to predict and feed that to the model. However, this doesn't work because the model will have access to future words in some instances to train itself, which isn't possible once deployed. In order to prevent information leakage from these future positions, masked self-attention is used. The most cost-efficient way to set up this masking is to apply the mask just before the soft max. This way, when added to the attention matrix, it will bring the specific value to large negative numbers. When the soft max will be applied, it will lead these elements to become zero. This will make the model not pay attention to these positions during the training process. Mask self-attention is crucial for autoregressive language modeling because it creates causality and force the model to generate text one token at a time. This conditions each prediction only on the preceding context. Now that we have a better idea of the overall flow of the process, let's review the exact step we will code in a few. So it all stem from um, attention, right? So this is this stuff. So that's the self-attention kind of formula. Uh, the part that is interesting for us is this little matrix here, actually this whole part over there because this is where we're gonna apply the mask. It will be on that, right? It will not be on the soft max time V. So you have to do it before you apply the soft max. So if you follow the process here, you get words, right, uh, coming in. And then these get uh, tokenized, right, in the, the, the tokenizer over here. So we get our, our tokens. And from this point on, we don't deal with words, we deal with tokens. So this is not actually accurate, but it doesn't matter, right? Just forget about this for now. Um, so we have uh, our um, weight matrix for our key query and value pair, right? And the input just stream into all of this. And then you get your keys, uh, your queries and your value, right? Keys and queries will be used to uh, create this little uh, matrix here, which will be kind of quadratic, right? Because we have number of input uh, uh, against number of input. This is why we have like this kind of global attention that is possible. It, on this front, this is where we're gonna apply attention. So let's say we're gonna like uh, kill this off, kill this off, kill this off, kill this off using a minus infinity. So if you have a, mi or a minus a big number, if we do minus a big number here, what will happen is that when we're gonna do the soft max, it will go all down to, uh, to zero. So here, like that matrix that we're creating here, right? We'll have that shape with, uh, with uh, this stuff uh, to uh, minus infinity, right? Softmax of uh, minus infinity for that row, uh, we'll just set these to zero, right? And then like this will be one. There is a bunch of optimization we're gonna need to do uh, for numerical stability, but uh, that's the general kind of uh, setup. So let's go with first step. The first step is to uh, have our key query and value matrices, right? And um, this is this process over here, and we need these over there. Um, for this specific purposes of calculating mask self-attention, don't worry too much about that because it, there's nothing there really, right? You have this these weight that, that are um, transformed with this these tokens streaming in, and then these create our keys, queries, and, and value pairs. The interesting part here for us is the dimension. So it will be sequence length, so the length of the input, and then the dimension of the model here, right? So the dimension of the model will be used uh, later on. 
which will be exactly our second step. So our second step, what we do is we transpose this, uh, do the dot uh, product over there, and then we normalize this whole thing with uh, the square root of the dimension of the model. So this ensure that the dot product value do not grow excessively large, preventing instability in a soft max function. So step three is we actually apply the mask. There's multiple ways to apply a mask. If you use any sort of binary masking for computer science purposes, you do a multiply. In this case, we do a plus. So what we're gonna do is a value of zero indicate that the attention is allowed. So we're gonna start with the full matrix of zeros, right? And then we're gonna do um, a value of minus infinity where we want to kill this thing off. Right now, we're gonna do like um, a matrix that is um, that is gonna have like this upper, this lower triangular shape. Uh, but you can have a matrix, uh, a mask matrix of anything depending on like what you're doing. If you're doing language modeling, kinda doesn't matter where the mask is applied so you have more free weight. Um, but in this case, we, it's uh, it's for generating the next uh, token, right? So it will look it will look like this. So that's it. And the only thing that we have to do is we take the raw tension score and we add it to uh, the mask, and then we're gonna get our mask score here, which brings us to our soft max calculation, right? So our soft max calculation this is soft max, right? So we're gonna take our input vector here, which will have like the uh, minus infinity where it need to be, and then we're gonna have uh, we're doing the sum here uh, at the bottom. We pass it through all the input through an exponential. So all the elements that have minus infinity will tend toward uh, zero. And those that don't have, uh, that haven't been changed because of our masking will not tend toward zero. So this is it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the max score, uh, mask score maximum here. It's a normalized mask score that we're uh, calculating soft max on. So this is the no uh, non-normalized version. So this is a normalized uh, version that we're gonna use. And finally, we're just going to compute the output. So we have our normalized three times already softmax core, and then we're going to do the dot with uh, the V. So we're going to have this whole part here, right? And then uh, uh, dot V, and then it's going to give us our output, and we should be good to go. That's the, that's the general recipe here. So now let's check out how we can code it in Python with NumPy. So here we are. Um, so we are on DeepML. So you can check out the link in the description to kind of uh, use it here. I like this stuff because there's like all of the test cases that we can use. So it kind of speed up um, your, uh, your learning a bit. We don't have to do the query keys value calculation because there's nothing here to do, right? You receive like an input uh, and then you have like your matrices that has the weights, right? And then you're just doing a bunch of that product with the, the input with each of these weights in order to get your key queries and value pairs. So don't think about this too much, right? This is already done for you, right? You don't have to worry about it. It's this part here uh, that you're gonna have to uh, work on. So what you're gonna get is the uh, queries, keys and values and the mask, so it's given to you. And then you, what you need to output is just uh, um, the self-attention matrix. So step one is already done for us, right? Except this portion where we need to uh, extract sequence length and the dimension of the model. So this is step one. So step one, whoops, one, uh, get the K, Q, and V. And here, what we need to do, we need to extract, extract the uh, sum of the variable we'll need flow. So the sequence length, don't really have to do this, but I like when everything is um, well named. So we have that, right? Now let's take a look at our step two. So step two, we have to compute the attention score. So we do queries. Well, we do k transpose, and then we have the dot product between the queries and the keys, right? Transpose. And then we divide by what we just uh, got, which is the square root of the dimension of the model. So, step two, calculate the raw attention score. So we do attention score equal to Q dot, uh, we're using NumPy here, remember? Here, so K transpose, dot product, 
Q divided by the square root of the model. That's it. So this is our step two. Pretty uh, straightforward here. So what's step three? Step three is we just need to add the mask uh, to the to the attention score. Pretty easy so far. So step three, we're gonna do applying the mask to the score. So we're gonna have the mask attention score equal attention score plus uh, our mask, right? Don't forget the mask is given here. All right, step four. This is the soft max calculation that we need to do, right? So we do the difference between the uh, the mask score with the mask score, the maximum value in each of the row. So this is a bit finicky because you have to uh, make sure that you take the right stuff in your matrix and then you do the, re the, the regular soft max with that. So if you take that value first, it's gonna be easy to do the literal soft max here. So step four here. So softmax calculation. So let's get the, the, the maximum value, right? So max row here, we're gonna do numpy.max on the mask attention score. And here you have to choose the right axis. In our case, it's gonna be one because we want to have like a maximum score per rows. Now we need to have the difference between this and the maximum. So we just do this, diff mask attention score equal mask attention score you're gonna have to do something a bit special there's multiple ways to do that so but you transpose the max attention score matrix you do minus the maximum row and then you retranspose the whole thing again max row and then you retranspose it Okay, so now we have the difference of the matrix and now we just need to calculate the actual softmax score and we should be good to go. So numpy, the exponential of the diff mass tension score divided and then you have to do the sum, right, of the, uh, the diff mask attention score, right? Is this part, right? You're doing this except this the, the input is now a difference right it's this thing over here divided by the same thing here but you 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 sum it up this is it and don't forget you have to tell it on which area you're going to sum it up you're going to sum it up uh, so that you're going to have like one value per row we have that now we are on to step five and step five is pretty simple you just like do dot product between the soft max score and the v Five, so we're doing a weighted sum between the softmax and the V. So we do mask attention score normalized equal softmax score V, and we are done. We can return our uh, mask attention score normalized. Let's see if that works. Okay, I got some errors here. So let's say diff. Is that the only thing? Okay, we're good. So we got it here. So, okay, perfect. We got the first test cases. So this was expected. So what we got, and the second test cases also, we got it right. So that's it, that's the whole algorithm. So I hope this was useful. Don't forget to like if it was the case and see you in the next one.